guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the finale of season two of East Sky Quartet. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Oh, this is on fire. Oh my god. No, not not like this. Oh, Votto. I mean, did I just say a Votto shelf here? Oh my God, I'm sorry. It is 2.49 and I'm so sleepy. Yeah, we're leaving this to a group of women. They got this. We got a, two idols, a phantom thief. And I don't know any other characters Millie's VA has played. <laughs> Honestly, like that blonde wig really looks good on her. Holy sh Aqua. <laughs> that that's good, but I mean that was a little too much at the same time, but yeah, good job. But explosion. Yeah. You know, I think you're fine. I uh, give her some ramen after this. <laughs> really, I'm a... I don't be huh? And there she goes. Oh God.
I can't. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know that? My choke up on Damn. I, I know, right? Yes, baby. <laughs> Seriously, missiles? I can't. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> Seriously? Jesus. No, baby, you got it. Now keep going. Okay, um, can we have a spinoff about these girls, please? Because, like, mm, and them kicking ass because they are so good together. <laughs> oh my God, Victoria would be like, yes, I want to eat my chocolate bananas. <laughs> I mean, shit, I would just send her all out of tech. Goddamn. Good job, everybody. Good job. Hmm?
that mean? <laughs> okay, final thoughts of this season. I really enjoyed this season. I think I like this season a little bit more than season one because to me, season one was more of the testing of the show and literally having all these characters together and not really making it 100% canon, but still, like, when... Okay. What? No. Because seems like this. When I was watching Overlord after I finished season one of this show, there were times when I was thinking and sitting there and I was like, it would be so funny if they would have acknowledged something like this. And saying, hey, remember that time we hung out with such and such and such and such? That would have been really good. But because the fact is, this ain't canon. I mean, it's just there. <laughs> Put all the cards on the table. But it was sweet. I'm glad that, you know, we had Chill Hero in this. It's still a little upsetting because of the fact that they weren't really the main focus. That's what I was assuming coming into season two. That, yes, everybody from season one was still going to be as focused. But Shield Hero would have gotten the most focus. <laughs> The main focus, and I'm not surprised I was getting another season because, I mean, come on. I do also love the fact is like, you had in last week's episode having Kasha Hero in it because that's the biggest thing that I've been wanting ever since I watched Kasha Hero. Shut up, Fitbit. It. Um, so now, like, the biggest thing is how, like, when we get to season three and we see his story, and it's going to be a really interesting story, and I bet you out of the four who possibly pressed the button. I'm not even going to say it was Saya because, I mean, this is Saya we're talking about, for Christ's sake. So I'm going to put some money on Raptalia. Not, not Raptalia, wrong person. Um, Restart Day. I feel like Restart Day is probably the one who pressed the button. Or um, Lulu or her brother. One of the three. That's what I think. Or maybe something happened and then, I don't know. Because it, it's like, okay, we know it's a button. So something had to turn into a button, maybe something sat on it like irons we know it turned for into a shield for freaking <laughs> no for me it's gonna be something that when season three comes i'm just gonna be like oh that's it like out of all the things that i thought of during the last episode that's it but i mean okay yes i kind of now want to spin off with like focusing on the group of girls that just can't <laughs> destroy it as because i mean because the funny thing is for each of their series and i'm about to say best girl but no really for kind of super that goes for darkness because darkness and as i did reactions on that show everybody kind of knows why darkness is my best girl um but aqua is like aqua and megamine are still up there they're like in a tie and such but really like between season one and season two of this show it just made me love aqua a lot more because <laughs> Like, sometimes I can't take her seriously, but that's okay. I mean, this is someone from... Th this is not only Aqua, this is Kasumi that we're also talking about for Persona 5, and they literally somewhat act the same way, but not at the same time. Though, because she's not a use of goddess. <laughs> but she's so sweet, and I just really like the fact that they had all these girls literally kicking this thing's ass. I mean, yes. Who knows what could have happened, like, if they really could have like had not me and everybody else say uh say uh and anybody else would have come it just would have been nice to see say do something else in one more episode but it, because we're getting another season he's officially coming in and we i get to see my baby Lulu, and i can't wait she's gonna be so cute um i think what else can i say about this i really kind of wish we got to see the ugly duckling play because that would have been nice I, even though i couldn't take it seriously without me ugly I couldn't even take freaking Ian because of Tanya and the damn horse and carriage outfit. Like, oh my god, I was just over here like, what is this? Like, y'all are like a donkey with a big pumpkin. <laughs> but also, can we give a round of applause for Ram? Like, oh my god, she played Cinderella so good. <laughs> like, honestly, that is a Cinderella that you'd be like, mm. I mean, she freaking kicks people off the stage. Be like, oh my god. Be like, mm. this ain't the typical Cinderella. 
<laughs> like, oh, but yes, I would love a spinoff if they could do it, but I don't think they're going to do it, but still, you can, that means they're going to get more, more focused in season three. Maybe. But what the one thing that I am hoping going into season three is, since we know, like, well, no, they really haven't confirmed it, but we all know it's going to be confirmed, that the next people, it is Kasha's Hero. I still would like freaking um, both of you to be in this show, just to be in this show, honestly, because it's by the same people who's made all these other different shows as well, um, studio-wise. But I really don't want it to be like the situation of season two, where I'm going into season two, we've all heard that um, uh, Shield Hero was going to be in the show, and that they were going to get this full this focus. And then you get into, like, not episode one, because episode one they did get focused, it's more of, I want to say, I think it was episode four to now. Um, it wasn't as much because the fact is, yes, they're in a different class from all these other shows. And they're going to, of course, do that for um, Cautious Hero. They're probably going to put them in the same class with now for me. So I'm just like, even though they're not going to be in the same class, like still give them an equal amount because there were times where we focused back and forth between the two classes. So 50 out of 50, either it was an episode focusing on Raptali and them. I mean, the Valentine's Day episode was like a beautiful, perfect episode to like literally do that. And I love that. That's probably like what my favorite episode for this season. So yeah, that's all I really want. I love this season. It was good. It was funny. It made me laugh way too freaking much, just like any other um comedy ass show but I, I don't think it made me laugh as much as um Bofity did because everybody is now acknowledging how much I freaking laughed during that damn show and I'm like well that's the same thing during like when I did um kind of Suba or even not interview with Masha Girls I kind of laughed at that show oh my god um Daily Lives High School Boys because those I think like Daily Lives and Bofity are like the top two shows that I have laughed <laughs> reaction wise way too freaking much because I, I to the point where like my stomach was hurting at the end of every freaking episode but yeah other than that guys that is my reaction for you towards season two of isekai quartet if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the Master squad and of course i will see you guys whenever season two with i mean season two season three is announced so that could be either later on this year if it comes out later on this year, I don't think it will. Or possibly next year, which I really think it's going to come out next year. And then I will see you guys officially, what, since tomorrow is the 1st of April. So yeah, whenever all of my um, spring anime shows starts. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!